Welcome to the world of social media scams. One fine morning, I blasted this Instagram scammer's number up online after texting with him for a bit. These scammers say they can flip your investment a thousand percent within a matter of minutes. All complete bullshit. This scammer eventually called me after a few hours. Let's listen in, shall we? Hello? Yeah, what's up, man? How's it going? This is Kent. How you doing, Kent? Oh, I'm alright. How are you? I'm fine. Where you get my number from? Oh, I got it from my friend Gary. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, How much are you trying to flip? Yeah, I was looking to do around $400. Got it from the bank. You know, I had a bunch of quarters that I had rolled up and uh, got some cash from that. You okay. Know. Okay, let's so. put it like this. Let's put it like this, Kent. Mm-hmm. If you're interested in doing it, you have to go down to Walmart. To Walmart? Walmart? Yeah. Oh, you mean like a, uh, it's like a Kroger kind of a thing? Yeah, Kroger, Walmart. Okay. Basically what you do is, uh-huh. how far is you from the store? Oh, pretty close. I got one, uh, about 10 minutes away. Okay, when you get there, call me, man. And make sure, that, do they do money ground? Uh, money gram. Is that some kind of a product? I'm not sure. No, nah, just go to Crozier. Uh-huh. Ask them, do they do money grams? Um. Hold on, Kent. What, what I have to ask them first? Which state or, are you in, Kent? Uh, I'm in Illinois. Are you in Illinois? Yes. Uh, well, is there any other store closer, like CVS? Oh, uh, CVS, yeah. We have a bunch of those. All right. Yeah, I think there's CBS, one on. I think there's one. Street. Um, what about what about a currency exchange? Currents. Oh, I haven't dabbled in that in years. Um, did a little trading. What on, about uh, did a little trading on the forex back in the day, but I haven't I haven't done that in years. You know. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna tell you. This when you, you get to CBS, just give me a call. Uh, to the CVS, I can hike and hop on down there. Uh, I could be there in probably 20 minutes, I think, then. You know. Hey, just call me, call me when you get there, man. Okay, yeah, sounds good. All right. All right, man. Yeah. This fine scammer proceeded to send some texts detailing how the sending process worked, as well as the bogus name of Brian in Florida, who I was supposed to send the MoneyGram to. I called back after about an hour and a half. Hi, this is Kent. Yeah, this is me, man. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm fine. Yeah. You called me? Yeah, I uh, finally made it to a CVS here. I thought there was one on uh, Rumble Street, but there's it was actually over on Polanski, so I made it here. Not sure exactly what to do. Okay, well, um, go on to CVS. When I go ask the cashier for the, for the till or something, how they change the money, or... Uh, or you exchange the money you said, right? Yeah, just go in the CVS first. When you're in the CVS, say I'm in the CVS. Okay, hold on. It's overflowing, boy. Look. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah. Hey, are you there? Yeah. Oh, I think we yeah, got dis- yeah. we got disconnected or something there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I asked the cashier, but uh, she didn't know about um, getting money out of there. You're not in on CVS, man. What? I said I don't think you had no CVS because if you was at a CVS, well, why you was on why you was on hold? Why you had me on hold for like an hour? Oh, I was I was outside. I wasn't actually in it yet. Right, I told you to be on the phone with me. Yeah. Are you don't even have to ask the lady, don't. I know. I, I could tell you what to do just by you know what I'm saying being on the phone with me. You don't even have to ask her. She ain't gonna know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, she's not gonna know. The money yeah, grandma. She's not gonna know, bro. What do you mean? Bro, it's. Huh? Bro, it's, you common sense will tell you, but it would be some sheets, be some money gram sheets around there. You don't have to ask her. All you have to ask her is for a send money form. Is it this green form? Send money form? This, this, this was going on. This was going to go on. Okay. My girlfriend, she works at a Walmart money center. Uh-huh. She have access to MoneyGram and Western Unions transactions. 
Uh-huh. She's going to do everything computerized. Oh, computerized. So I don't once have, you, so I don't have to give her the form. the form. Don't even have to give her the form then. No, right. You you, post, you go give her the form so she can have the information in the system. Once the information is in the system, MoneyGram uh-huh. system, all my girl is going to do is she's going to go in the system. It's going to be a receipt. They're going to give you a receipt. Uh-huh. Once you get the receipt, it will be some numbers in bold print. You have uh-huh. to send me the numbers in bold print. You have to send me your name and you have to send me... That's it. Your name and, and the numbers. Name and number? Name the number. Right. Okay. Once I, get the, once I get your name and numbers, I'm going to send them off to my girl and she's going to add zero to the 400. We're going to make the 400 4,000. Oh, okay. That's simple enough. She's at the Walmart or the CVS? Is that gonna is that gonna be a problem or to the Walmart? Okay. No, all of it's the same, sir. MoneyGram is is the same, like all over. It's the same. She's, prob- the is the same she's probably over. at the Cranston one. I don't usually go out to that one much, but uh, unless I need to get bulk toilet paper or something, you know, or bulk shampoo, mm-hmm. bulk shampoo, or whatnot. Yeah. Um. the The only problem with the store is that it's actually a Walmart inside of the CVS. Right, that's cool. That's cool too, man. You know, it's like inside of the CVS here. Okay. It's kind of like its own little universe. Somehow they packed it in here. I'm not sure. So what basically are you saying, man? I'm saying that there's it's actually a Walmart that I'm in, not a CVS. But the Walmart is inside of the CVS here. Okay. Let yeah. me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this. You know, are okay. you are you in the money center? Uh, I'm in the Walmart money center. Listen, listen, sir. Listen, bro. Do you want to do this or what, bro? Yeah, but there's no cashiers here. It's just a Walmart. There's just the greeters and stuff, you know. So you're not trying to do it, bro. That's basically, basically, you just call. Basically, you call in just to play games. Basically. Let's be honest, bro. I, I get it. <laughs> that that's, games, right? that's exactly right. You finally got it. It took you long enough. You the guy. <laughs> you the guy that, that keep. What? Can I ask you something, bro? Yeah, go ahead and ask me. Why? Why you keep calling me? Because you're a scammer, and the calls aren't going to stop. So, Ever. So all the people that have been calling me, it got something to do with you? Yep. I figured that. You figured that? What's the... So why you don't, why you don't call nobody else, bro? Oh, I do. Trust me. I call them all. All you scammers. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Did you flip it? Yeah. Did you flip Why it? Why did you call my phone? Because I already told you, because you're a scammer. You block your ass, okay? So you ain't going to be able to call me. I'll call so you from any number I please. Time. Any number I please. Okay, I'm going to find your bitch. I... Listen, man. Yeah. Do you have anything else better to do with the car? You know we can make money together, bro. Like you We can make money bro. together? How would that work? You 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 wanna call me? You send me send me motherfuckers off. Send you a cut, bro. You don't even gotta know who I am, bro. If a you cut? How would that work? If, how would that work? Send me somebody that's trying to do five hundred. I'll send you like a hundred each each time. Person trying to do five hundred. I'll send you money. Yeah, but you're just a scammer. You're not gonna give me anything. If you keep sending me, if you keep sending me motherfuckers that's coming with five hundred dollar transactions, bro, I will send you something, bro. I'm not I'm not gonna. Snoop that low. If you send me people, you're not gonna stoop that low. You already stooped low. I knew you was him. I was who? Yo keys. I, Yo. I knew you was him, bro. I Who's knew you keys? was. You didn't know anything. Why were you on the phone so long with me then? I don't know. You didn't know shit. I thought we could make money, man. Let's make money together, man. You're in Chicago. We, we, listen, if you want to make money, bro, let's make money. Now, I know you think I'm a scammer, but... You are a scammer. I don't think you're a scammer. Listen, listen, bro, listen. You know you're a scammer, too. You can trust me, I can trust you. Yeah, okay. You can trust me, I can trust you. You just give me one, you give me one, one time, bro. I promise you, I'm gonna let you down. You won't let me down? I'm gonna let you down. You sending me, you sending me, motherfuckers, 500 or more? Okay. I promise you, I'll give you 100 out of each transaction. I promise. Well, who's this Brian dude? I gotta know what cuts he taking too. Bro, he ain't taking no cut. What do you he mean? It's the name we use. He's just the name. How do you use his name? Don't you have to go pick the money up? No, I got somebody. I got somebody that work at Walmart. I got a plug, bro. I don't need nobody. You don't need. They don't need ID or nothing. Really? You you can just do it online, yeah. probably. 
I just don't understand why we can't why we can't just make money together, man. Just you know what I mean? I see what you mean. But like we're both in in Chicago. How we do this? You want to meet up? No, I don't want to meet up, man. We don't got to meet up. We could just do everything. We could wire money to each other. You don't got to meet up. We're both in Chicago, though. Yeah. Why not? Listen, man. We don't have to meet up, bro. We don't have to meet up. I don't know you. You don't know me. We don't have to meet up, okay? We could wire money to each other. That's how we That's how we continue. Well, that's not usually how I do business. Okay, man. Well, I don't know, man. If I, if I, if I, if, if we meet up, man, I'm going to be with a lot of niggas, bro. How many? Just people who are working for you? Oh, people that's, that that will, that will shoot if if we got a problem. How am I not? How am I gonna trust you without meeting up? Man, uh, where you live at? Uh, Wheaton. Oh, you live too far, man. I don't live in Wheaton. I live in the city. I'm not coming in no Wheaton, man. You don't have to come to Wheaton. I didn't say that. I go downtown all the time. Listen, I have no reason to scam you, bro. If you bringing me money, if you bringing me money, bro, I have no reason to scam you for no one. Five hundred dollars. Then when I spend the five hundred dollars, I'm gonna need some more money. That scamming shit is getting real, kind of yeah, just getting real fucked up. Only because a lot of motherfuckers mean? doing it. A lot of motherfuckers doing it. What? And they don't know so how to do it. Listen, for a motherfucker to really come up, they need a, they need a person that's go like bring them people. If you could bring me mm-hmm. people, we can make money, bro. Then we could then we might meet up. We meet up. We can meet up when I see you. you fuck with me. That's all it takes. Fuck with me. I fuck with you. Let me, let me call you right back. All right. Bye. Unfortunately, this guy stopped answering and wouldn't call me back. Shame, because I was really looking forward to our foolproof business venture. Just give it a little flip. Thanks for watching, everyone. These scammers are all over Instagram. Go waste their time. Cheers. Welcome to the world of social...